you're in the market looking to buy a piece of plot in Kenya. Maybe what you're looking for is an eighth of an acre. But during your research, you also come across several adverts saying that the same piece of plot is 50 by 100 feet or 15 meters by 30 meters. And still, it doesn't stop there. When you look at a typical title deed, you discover that land is measured in hectares. And an eighth of an acre translates to approximately 0 0.045 hectares. So why all these numbers? Why all these various types of measurement for the same piece of plot? It's a question that we dive into in this video. And by the end of it, you'll have a thorough understanding of how plots are measured in Kenya. Hi, I'm Nick Mema from Property Noma, and let's get into it. To understand how plots are measured in Kenya, we have to acknowledge the two types of measurement standards that are used. We have the imperial system and the metric system of measurement. Some imperial units include feet, inches, and acres. For the metric system, some relevant examples include meters, centimeters, and hectares. To make it clearer, let's look at plots in terms of length and area, both in the imperial and metric system of measurement. Length. When you hear a plot being described as 40 by 80 feet, 50 by 100 feet, or 15 by 30 meters, it's being described in terms of length. Sellers of plots can use either imperial or metric units when describing these plots. Anything big described by feet or inches is using the imperial system. On the other hand, meters and centimeters belong to the metric system. For example, a 50 by 100 foot plot uses the imperial system and the same plot is 15 by 30 meters when using the metric system. Luckily, there's a mathematical formula that you can use to convert from feet to meters for your plot and vice versa. And even better, you can do this mentally. Let's assume you have a 50 by 100 piece of plot. Now, let's change it into meters. Let's start with the width of the plot, 50 feet. Divide 50 feet by 10 to get 5. Next, multiply 5 by 3 to get 15. So the width of the plot becomes 15 meters. Do the same for the length of the plot. Divide 100 feet by 10 to get 10 and multiply by 3 to get 30. The width now becomes 30 meters. So 50 by 100 feet is 15 by 30 meters. Okay, you've seen how plots are measured in terms of their length, both in metric and imperial standards. Now let's look at plots in terms of area. What is area? This is the space occupied within the shape of your plot. Most plots are usually, are usually rectangular in shape, which is why terms like 50 by 100 feet are commonly used. However, some plots take on irregular shapes, so they are best defined using the area they occupy. This is where terms like an acre, a quarter of an acre, square meters and hectares are used. Again, the system of measurements are mixed, meaning that both the imperial and metric standards are used. Terms like acres, square feet, or square yards are imperial units of area. Hectares and square meters, on the other hand, are metric units of area. In Kenya, the term acre is the most commonly used imperial unit of area. You hear an acre 20 acres, an eighth of an acre, a quarter of an acre, almost every day to describe the size of a plot. But remember, it's an imperial unit mostly used to market plots. So if we convert an acre to square meters, which is a metric unit, it's approximately 4,047 square meters. It's much easier and more marketable to say an acre than by saying 4047 square meters, right? So what if we multiply 50 by 100 to get 5000 square feet? When we convert 5000 square feet into acres, we get approximately 0 0.115 acres. 
an eighth of an acre in decimals is 0.125 acres. Clearly, a 50 by 100 foot plot is less than an eighth of an acre. This is a challenge that is brought about by using the imperial standards of measurements. So what's the solution? Using hectares. In Kenya, land is measured by a surveyor. These professionals do their work using the metric standard of measurement. In a typical title deed, you'll discover that land is measured in hectares, which is a metric unit. Even if you like calling your land an eighth of an acre or a 50 by 100 plot, it was surveyed in hectares. So what is a hectare? It's a unit to measure the area of land in metric standards. One hectare equates to approximately two and a half acres of land and it also to equa equates to 10,000 square meters of land. When a piece of land measures 100 meters in width and 100 meters in length, the area within that land is 10,000 square meters, or simply a hectare. A 50 by 100 plot is approximately a 15 by 30 meter plot. Remember the conversion formula I showed you earlier on in the video. In terms of area, it becomes a 450 square meter plot. So what's the size of this plot in hectares? It's simple. You divide it by 10,000. So it becomes a 0 0.045 hectare plot. Ha is the symbol used to represent hectares. Remember when I said an eighth of an acre is slightly larger than a 50 by 100 foot plot, even though they're one and the same thing? That's because when surveyors subdivide land, say an acre, they take into consideration other factors like access roads within that land. Hence the reason a 50 by 100 foot plot is slightly smaller than an eighth of an acre. So to standardize the measurement of land, surveyors use hectares, and that's what you'll find in a title deed. So that's how land is measured in Kenya. Earlier on in the video, we discovered that there are two types of measurement standards that are used in Kenya. We have the imperial system of measurement and the metric system of measurement. And we also discovered that plots are measured in terms of their length or the area they occupy. In terms of length, we use terms like 50 by 100, and in terms of area, we use terms like an acre. But to standardize everything, surveyors use the metric system and the unit hectare to measure land and plots in Kenya. So that's why you'll find in your title lead that land is measured in hectares. I hope you've learned something from this video. Like and share this video around. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.